Once upon a time, two singles met online and started a podcast, The Computer Love Podcast. Uh Uh-huh. We back. Let's go. What's up? 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 What is up? Apparently, my baby's headphones is not what's up. Cause I okay, that's good. There you go. You back? You back? Right. I am Jay Reed, and as always, I am accompanied by my beautiful co-host, none other than. Shaquetta Shantae. Hey, yo. Shaquetta Shantae. Hey, hey. Shaquetta Shantae. Shaquetta Shantae. Hey, hey. Shaquetta Shantae. Shaquetta Shantae. All day. Shaquetta Shantae. Shaquetta Shantae. Hey, hey. And we are back for another episode we back, of the Computer y'all. Love Podcast, episode yes, 22. 22, deuce, deuce. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Before we get into that, Got to get into church announcements. Hit them with the church announcements. I baby. just want to take a little time right now and say thank you. Thank y'all so much. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. As always, definitely want to start with gratitude. Um, we are in the season of Thanksgiving. Literally, Thanksgiving is just a few weeks. Thank you, because you'll be like, I'm drowning over here. <laughs> but People listening don't know what you're talking about. Um, she doesn't like that I play this um, church announcements music so loud. So loud. Like, I don't even know. Can y'all hear me? Because no, I can barely I, I hear myself. I listen to these podcasts back, and it's not loud. Okay. But I just, I just can't fine. hear That's myself. I got, I got. But we are in the spirit of Thanksgiving. And yes, we are, babe. I am thankful. We are thankful for each of you we are thankful for your support um your views y'all laugh i keep saying this but i think y'all laugh at us more than anything um I laugh at you i don't be doing that yeah anymore. you do you be you are the like seriously you are the ringleader of the crazy what yeah I'm laughing at you babe. all of that and i'm like, like i don't want to break really? the news to you but they laughing at you they laughing with me, but they laughing at you. Yeah, because I am like, <laughs> I am funny, though, so that's fine. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you for joining us, seriously. Um, it's been a joy. It's been a lot of fun. Announcements are, we here because of you. Like, you know, us. We wanted to do this. We're doing this. Um, but literally, your encouragement means the world to us. So thank you for continuing to do that. Like, subscribe, share, comment. We love to see your feedback as well. Um, that's what we're here for. And to grow as well. If there's things that you all want to see more of, let us know. If there are topics that you want us to discuss, let us know. We definitely want to hear from you. Positive feedback, negative feedback. Give it all to us. I don't know about all that negative stuff. Like, I'm, give it just. Give I'm it not to me. really about Direct that to me. negative. I got like, some. I got thick skin. Negative comments are not welcome. I no, said I'm kidding. feedback. I'm kidding. You can't get better if you don't. <laughs> For real, feedback is we want seriously. Like he said, we welcome your feedback, and if it's areas for growth. That we may not want to hear, but we need to hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Share it with us. You can't grow without um, the truth. For real. And honesty, and do that for us and with us. You're correct, babe. There we go. Um, you hit him with some motivation. Yeah, I can hit him with some motivation. Motivate the masses, my love. Shaquetta's motivational moment. <laughs> I know, right? My motivational moment. So this one is. I don't. Most times, I really don't already have something prepared. I'm going off of the top Um, but there's a video that I recorded and I have not shared it yet which I recorded and I planned on sharing it on Friday and I did not Um, but this was 
literally geared to the strong friend. So if you are the strong friend, if you are the the best brother, the best, you know, son, you're running a six figure, seven figure business or working a job that, I mean, it's just hard and people just think you do it and they see you do it effortlessly. So they don't really see what's, what it takes behind the scene. If you are the mother of the year, the daughter of the decade, like you are just, everybody looks at you and they're like, man, this is, this is it. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. She's always there for me. He's always there for me, but who's there for you? That's the question that I wanted to ask. Um, And what I shared on Friday that I have not posted yet is I want to provide a space. Because the person that you just described sounds a lot like yourself. I'm here for you, my love. I just want you you to know that I'm I'm here for you. I appreciate it. You are daughter of the year. You are friend of the year. You are fiance of the year. I am here for you. If nobody else is here for you, baby, (laughs) I am here I appreciate that, baby. That is very, very special. Very sweet. It's a little warm. Go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. I'm turning the heat up. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. So oftentimes you are that person for everybody. You are that one phone call away. You're pulling up. You're there. And a lot of times people don't know how maybe they don't have the capacity to be there for you at that moment or they don't think that you need that. But I want to say that you deserve it. And I want to provide a space, an opportunity for that strong friend to say, today isn't the day. Like today, because you deserve a break as well. You deserve a day to just relax, a day to just take some time for you and you deserve people asking you, are you okay? Are you good? Literally, how can I support you? How can I show up for you? How can I give you what you give to me? Those are questions that people, all of us can make sure that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So think about the person that you always call on. Think about the person that is always there for you. Think about the person that, you know, has given everything and still seem like they have a lot to give and call them and ask them, how can I support you? What can I do for you? Because it has to be, I am in a season and I feel like we should all be in a season of reciprocity. Ooh, preach, babe. That everything that I give, I have the capacity to receive as well. So, no, you don't have to expect people to give the same thing that you're giving. Mm -hmm. But you have to, you can expect to be given something back. It cannot be, you know, it's just you pouring, you're pouring, you're pouring, and you're not receiving anything. Mm -hmm. So, my motivational moment is that this is your season for reciprocity as well. Like, let's all give. Let's be givers and receivers. Like in the season of in in the season of Thanksgiving, give. Mm. So give what you want to be given, and no, you won't have the capacity to do it every day, and you're not expected to. But you should be able to show up and be there, no matter how busy our lives are. It takes a moment to reach out to someone and say, "How can I be there? Or how are you doing? What can I do for you?" That's my moment. We all deserve it. Give it but also allow yourself to receive it and expect to receive it. Not in the same capacity, but in some capacity. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think a lot of times um, people struggle and myself included is um, feeling like you're just not giving enough. Like you feel like you always could, could be giving more. Right, sometimes. For like, sure. could I be doing more or should I be doing this? Or, you know, you always feel like there's, there's more that, that could be done. So uh, no, that's a good message. And I think sometimes, like, you know, it's some people like that, like you say, they be like, oh, I could do a little more. 
Mm -hmm. I could be doing. And then there's some people don't even have the thought. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why you calling me. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with me. Are they like, shoot, I'm on the receiving end. This is good. This (laughs) feels good. But yeah, I think we all could just do that to that, you know, you you have those people that are over thinkers. It's like Mm -hmm. overly like trying to give overly trying to give and then you have people that again on the just on the receiving end mm-hmm. and always want to receive but mm-hmm. like you know be the person that you want people to, to be to you yeah i think uh um a lot of people uh, receiving things feels good you know everyone li- likes likes to give like something for free um just likes to receive things you know um but if you've ever like been able to be in a position to where you can do things for other people like genuinely do things for other people and and it doesn't really hurt you. Like you're able to do these yeah. things. Then um, that's that's for me. Honestly, um, it, it's it's better than 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 receiving. Yeah, it's you know? a good feeling to know really that you're feeling. able to provide something mm-hmm. for somebody when they needed it. Yeah, and if exactly. that's a kind word, mm-hmm. that's a good feeling. If mm-hmm. it's a smile, that's a good feeling. If it's bringing them lunch, mm. <laughs> that's a good feeling. Like to say, like I couldn't even get out the office today, yeah. and my friend door dashed me. Like something, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. It's just you don't have to like anybody be, can do anything. Period. Y'all have the capability to do anything. That's something. That's a good point. Something. So do what you can. Nobody's yeah. asking you to do over and beyond a gift from a place that you can't give, but you have a place that you can give from. Right. And give from there. Everybody um, loves an encouraging word or. Uh, just yeah. a, maybe just a thumbs up on their Facebook yeah, post or something. Like, some, you know? like, like, seriously. Some, yeah. All right. That's my word. Good word. Chat, chat room. All right. What we chat got for the chat room? room? Chat room. Here's a chat room Actually, question. Actually, hold on real quick. Yeah. Just one second. Can I... Uh, you used to acting like you bought a proposal again or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you already did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. What we got? Chat room question. What are some character traits I should look for in a spouse? We all have deal breakers. But what are some qualities for a good partner? What are some qualities for a good partner? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, is this? Do we want to give like a general, like for men and women, or? Like yeah, I th- I think. General. Um. <sighs> repeat the question one more time. What are some character traits I should look for in a spouse? We all have deal breakers, but what are some qualities for a good partner? You're talking about a spouse. So you're talking about your, your future wife mm-hmm. <clears throat> or your, your future husband. Right. Um, honestly, as someone who has done it already, mm-hmm. um, I will say that probably the one of the biggest things is um is to be able to to play your position to be able to play your position um when you come together in in a marriage um <clears throat> you are a a partnership um you are a, a team mm-hmm. okay um some people don't don't like to describe it as you're a team or a partnership, but you, but you are, you're a team. Um, and you are joined together to, to take on the world together. Like why else are you with this person? If you're not going to try to take on the world together. Um, and anyone that you're taking on the world with is a teammate in my opinion. Absolutely. Right. Um, they're a teammate and they're a partner um, almost by definition. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, um, this is your teammate. This is your partner that you decided to take on the world with. So, on any team or on any partnership, there are roles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I know that um, it could ruffle feathers and we're moving into an era where people want to get rid of roles um, or they want to blend roles or they want to, um, you know, blur, blur lines. Um, and, and that's fine. Um, and, and because no situation works for everybody. 
However, at a primal, natural level, we we have roles just in general. All all mm-hmm. species have roles. Um, so my role when I come become a husband is my role is the husband. That is my role on this team. Your role will be the wife. That's your role on the team. So um, then, then the next question will be, so what is the role of a husband, right? Um, in my opinion, I would say that just the way it's naturally supposed to be and the way that it would be most effective and most most closely to nature would be that the man is, or the husband is like the quarterback of the team. So right. are you about to share characteristics? Like what? Yeah, I'm, what? I'm, I'll get okay. there. Um, but so I'm, I'm just on the, on the start right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get it. So, so yeah, so the husband is, is the quarterback of okay. the team. Mm-hmm. Um, quarterback is the leader of the team, right? He is the one who is leading his team to to the Super Bowl. Um he's out there, he's training with the guys, he's leading the guys on and off the field. Um the guys being his family in in this situation, right? Mm-hmm. Um <clears throat> and his goal is to take care of them, make sure he doesn't want them to get injured, he w- doesn't want to, you know, put them in positions to where they're going to get hurt. Um he wants to do what's best for the team to 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 score the touchdowns and to and to win. He is the leader of the team. So then what is the woman's role on the football team? In my opinion, um, I would say that the woman's role on the football team is to be the coach. The woman is the head coach. The husband leads the team. Mm -hmm. He's out there in the trenches. He's putting in the work. He's running the plays. He's in the gym training. He's making it happen. He's hunting. He's, He's out there getting it. The coach is there to have his back, to have his cover, to... Give him guidance, mm-hmm. direction, um, and also to win as well. Absolutely, they want everything that 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 the quarterback wants. Mm-hmm. Um, they might not necessarily be out there, you know, running the plays. Um, he, the coach might tell him a, a a play, and the quarterback and, and at the uh, you know while he's out there, he he does what he needs to do. I mean, he might not follow the play or whatnot, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, the quarter the the coach is there to to guide. Um, but in in relationships, I think too too often is that um, people they just don't know their roles. And I think that you're a hundred percent correct about the the roles of a coach, the roles of the quarterback, the team. We're winning. How we're going to win? You've explained the roles, and I think you did a really good job of explaining it. So now that you've explained the roles, Mm -hmm. if a man is looking at this and a woman is looking at it, it's like, okay, I see the roles. But what are some character traits? What are some qualities that these positions, like even when you, you know, applying for a job, Um, you ask them, what are your qualities? What are this, you know, what what makes you good for this position? So what are some qualities or traits should somebody be looking for in these particular I mean, um, I think that people should look for people that, that they're com- compatible with. Mm. Um, okay. I, I don't think like there's any like type of, like, I'm not going to say you need to find someone mild mannered or like, it's not really about, about that. It's about, um, whether or not this is a person that you could, can be with, um, whether or not this is a person that, I mean, you have to understand that getting into a relationship, you're going to have to give up a lot. Is this mm-hmm. something that, is this somebody that you can give up a lot for? Right. I mean, your life is going to be different now. Um, and the goal is to do it forever. So can you do it forever with, with this person? Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know about traits. Like you can say a happy person or a confident or a go-getter. Like, that's, that's, uh, I don't know. For for me, that's not – that's not. I'm a man, so that's not really okay. what, what's important. Um, obviously, um, you may want somebody – a woman, you would want somebody, you know, who is has a sweet demeanor, who, who is feminine um, for sure, but – I mean, there might be guys who don't care. They just they just want someone right. who's gorgeous. So, I mean, um, at the end of the day, I think you know you need to find someone who you're compatible with because if you're not compatible with, if you cannot get along with this person for the rest of your life, then it's not going to work no matter what characteristics they have. Okay. That's good. I think you covered some good, some good bases. And I think for me, when I look at the qualities, um, the characteristics, the traits that, 
I would suggest that um, you look for in a partner is one, I do suggest you looking for someone who is kind. And when I say kind, you have to realize that you're going to have moments within your relationship, within your marriage, that you don't like each other. That's the reality. But are you still able to be kind even when I don't like you? Even when I don't care for you today, I'm still kind to you. Now that means a be, kindness is is not something that I you can just turn on or off. Kindness is something, it's almost like forgiveness. It's 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 a it's a part of it's love. It keeps on giving even when you don't want to give it. So I do think that you should look for someone and look to see how are they really you need to see how they are when they when they are mad, when they are upset. I think that that is like these are some characteristics that you should be paying attention to. Um, when they're angry, how angry are they? Do they throw things? Do they punch things? Do they, you know, because no, that doesn't mean that they would do that to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. this is for both sides because men can do that and women can do that too. Women can get angry and they're Ooh, throwing yeah, they things. Can. They're, you know, they're ready to fight. They're ready to slap. They're ready to hit. They're ready to punch. Whatever it is, if it's the wall, if it's, you know, throwing a shoe, <laughs> whatever. You want to look at how are they when they are upset? How do they, like you are looking at mannerisms. You're looking at how are they with their children? How are they with their parents? How are they with their coworkers? How are they with their employees, the people that are under them? So yes, you want to look at how they move in general. Um, is everything a, a joke for them? Are you being heard? So you want to see their listening skills. You want to see their reactions, their actions. Are they proactive or reactive? Are they the person that make moves prior to? Are they waiting to, okay, now that I messed up, let me react to this and try to make it clean, make it right. So just to recap on that, because I think that a lot has been said, you want to look at one how people, how they treat you, <laughs> first and foremost, how they treat the people that they're closest to and how they treat people that are working beneath them um, in reference to, and when I say beneath, I'm not saying beneath as in they're beneath them as a person, but as in when we look at a hierarchy of a company, mm-hmm. um, they work under them. Why do you want to see how somebody is when they work under someone, um, when someone works under them? Because if you want to go to the roles, if you want to look at the the roles and responsibilities of relationships and a husband and a wife, you want to see how they treat the people. Um, let's just say you, as the woman or the man, you lose your job. So now you may have gone from bringing so much to the house to you're not bringing as much. Mm -hmm. Is that going to change how they treat you for a period of time? Do they still see you the same? Do they still respect you the same Mm -hmm. because of who you are and what you bring to the table, your personality, your characteristics, um, your value? Yeah. So those are some traits that I would say you would definitely want to look at to determine who your spouse is or when you're looking for a spouse. You want to look beyond today. You want to look at the longevity of being with someone and what it would be like being with that person. Yeah, I think um, um, with that, though, is that what one person doesn't like, another person does like. So um, that so. Maybe someone is also <laughs> they're they're the the type of person who um, shits on their employees or whatever, or, or maybe what you consider shitting on your employee, they consider good management, and that's the type of person that they like. Mm-hmm. So um, I guess that's why, because like for you, say if they're unkind um, and when they get angry, they get to a level to where you're not comfortable with that, right? Mm-hmm. Then then that's then for you then. 
that's a deal breaker, then that's incompatible with you. But for someone else, that might turn them off yeah. or something. Th- so that's and they yeah. are compatible. So so that's why it's like what you are looking for. That's mm-hmm. the whole. You know, I agree. That's what you are looking for as a person. That is what your character, like what quality traits you're looking for. Now, I, hey, if somebody being ugly to you, nasty to you, turns you on, then <laughs> that's what you look for. Then look for somebody that's gonna be nasty to you. <laughs> but, they, but they might not consider it nasty. They might consider it's just love. That's 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 how right. I see so it, whatever man. you you yeah. are, neither one of us can sit here and tell somebody what that looks like. Mm-hmm. But what is important to you? That's what you should be looking for. That's the qualities. That's the characteristics. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think there's like any one answer. Like these qualities are because we don't know what you like. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And sometimes even what you like is not what's good for you. So I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's that's why a lot of couples do not work out it's because this is not easy. You know. Yeah. It's it's, it's not easy. Um, it's work. It is. Um, but show. Sure. And it takes chances. It takes time. It's a gamble as well. So um, sometimes you do just have to uh, to do what you can do, and then just hope for the best. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. All right. You ready to go on to the uh, topic of the day? And and. Topic. Topic of the day. Topic of the day is a lot of us want to be married. Question is. Are you ready to be a husband and our wife? And what would make you a good wife or husband? Mm. You got some really good questions today, babe. Um, so kind of going back to, to what I was saying, saying earlier, um, are you ready to be married? What you have to, if before you can say you are ready to be married, you have to know that Getting married is going to require you to give up a lot of things. Um, and these things might not. <laughs> what is our dog doing? Freya, yes. I was sorry. I she's down there. Like, I like she's wrestling and right. fighting with somebody and she by herself. She just. That is funny. Okay. Some attention. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Um. <laughs> You were like back to <laughs> back to what I what I back to what I was saying earlier. Um, right. Oh yeah. So um, you got to understand that getting married is going to require you to give to give up things, um, and they might be things that you don't you're not going to miss. And for some people, there are things that um, are are difficult <laughs> to, to give up. Um, but when you're doing that, you're doing it to make a commitment because um, you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. So um, maybe you got to give up smoking or maybe you got, let's just, I'm just going to say it. Maybe you got to give up having sex with other women. All right. That's, that's a big one guys. Um, or maybe you don't, I don't know. Maybe you have a type of woman who allows that, but for the most part, that's something that you get. So you have a woman that don't make or, yeah. one side. Of <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Well, ladies. Um, yeah. So you have to give up, you have to be ready to commit and to, to sacrifice. Um, that's for me is, you have to know that that is if you're ready. If you're not ready to do that, if you're and that requires a level of maturity mm-hmm. to get there. And oh, most yeah. most young men, I I dare to say it, um, well even even women, I guess, are just are, are not ready. Um, there's there's too much living and too much stuff that they want to do. <laughs> there's just too many options out there. Um, so you're just not ready. You haven't lived your life yet. Um, but but yeah. So uh, once but once you've hit a level in your life to where you can or maybe you just found a woman or yeah i'll speak for men maybe you just found a woman to where you may you may have not have been ready but this person is so amazing that you're like you know what i'm not gonna lose this opportunity i'll quit it all and and you do that and that that can happen as well but you just have to be ready to make that commitment um for the most part if if you're ready to be married oh, yeah. in my opinion yeah. for a traditional marriage for a traditional marriage yeah. absolutely i agree yeah so I think that this question is really good mm-hmm. because oftentimes men and women both look at the benefits of marriage or what that could mean to be married. And not often enough, 
while you're waiting, if if it is waiting, and, and when I'm saying waiting, I'm not like, oh my God, you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs waiting. You're enjoying your life. You're living and you're doing different things. But while you are actually in waiting, that you're actually preparing. And you're preparing to be a wife. You're preparing to be a husband. Because the same way that you have been dating people may not have been what it takes to be a husband and our wife. Mm-hmm. Um, if you are someone that, you know, long relationships have not been your thing. It's like, you know, <laughs> they were like, okay, it's been two and a half months. I see this doesn't, this doesn't work for me. I'm out. Mm-hmm. So you're on to the next. So at some point, I think that to be ready, you have to hold a mirror to yourself. To be ready, you have to ask others, and I think I hit on this before too, to hold a mirror to you as well and tell you what they see. What should you see in the mirror? For yourself is, how are you as a person? Mm -hmm. Like, how? what makes me a good woman? What makes me a good wife? What makes me ready? Mm -hmm. Because you are a wife before before you say I do. Girl, you better preach. You are a husband (laughs) before you say I do. That day, if you chose to go to a courthouse, you were already with this person before. Mm-hmm. If it's if you were with them emotionally, physically, you've already spent time with them. Mm-hmm. You've already been caring or should be caring with them. You've already been in the act. Mm-hmm. You've already been doing certain things that made you a husband that made you a wife. So the day that you said I do really is a continual. It's like a, it it continues. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 It continues. And I think that sometimes people say I do thinking that there's going to be a change Mm -hmm. because, Oh, he, my husband girl. So all of that other stuff he was doing before (laughs) he's done. That's done. Are, you know, she ain't, she didn't do this, you know, when we when we were living together. Or she didn't do this when we were dating. But I know as soon as, you know, January 12th, 2021 <laughs> came, the day she said yes, the day she said I do, then I know all of that is going to change. Are She's going to do everything. She's going to do everything. from a mental illness. Are you delusional? Do do you suffer from a mental illness? Are you delusional? (laughs) (laughs) Or do you suffer from a mental illness? That's what I needed to say right there. (laughs) I'm like, wait, what is playing? But yeah, like seriously, for real. It's like oftentimes, and I really, I don't even think it's, it's this fantasy. It's what society has molded you to believe. What you mean? In reference to, oh, when you get married, Mm -hmm. you know, you have this fantasy of what, and men, both men and women do it. Mm -hmm. You have this idea Mm -hmm. of what your husband should do. Mm -hmm. You have this idea of what your wife should do. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes I heard it somewhere I can't 100% remember. Is that a problem to have? No, you can have expectations. Mm -hmm. But my thing is sometimes what happens is people require, expect, and request things from people that they don't give. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen given, but they've formulated an idea Mm -hmm. of what it should be. This is just what they think is supposed to happen. This This is what what I think it's supposed to be. And this is what I I believe it should be like. And this is what I demand it to be like because (laughs) I deserve this type of woman. I deserve this type of man. But you should make those demands, like you said, because you're a wife before we get married. So you should need to make those demands when we first meet. And the thing about it is I think my emphasis is less Mm -hmm. on the demand Mm -hmm. and more on you. As a person, Mm. more on myself, what am I expecting from a person? Like, we have to be realistic, but to me, I feel like a man plays so many roles. Mm -hmm. A husband is just one of them. So for me to have so much expectations on him and for him that I am not giving him room to be who he is as an individual, as a man first, that's a problem. And the same thing for a woman. A woman is so many things. 
she's a mother. She's expected to, you know, keep the house. She's, you know, whatever. She's right. so many things. She's a daughter. Just, I mean, he just so. Can you leave the sound effects <laughs> alone while I'm doing my thing here? She does so much. She plays so many different roles. And for a man to have this back expectation on her as a wife solely, like that is her sole role, yeah. you have to give her room to be a woman first. You have to give her room to be a mother as well. You have to give her room to be all of these things on a day that she may not have the capacity to be it. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't have that capacity every single day to show up a hundred percent every single day. So as a woman, as a wife, as a husband, as a, you know, a man, what makes you ready Mm -hmm. when you have the capacity to receive somebody at the, at their worst? That would, that's what makes you ready mm-hmm. because even if they're ready, even if they've shown, they've shown you your best, mm-hmm. you have to be able to accept them at their worst. Mm-hmm. And if you can't do that, if you think that they're going to be that 100% all day, mm-hmm. every day, because that's what you need mm-hmm. and you're not able to hide yourself to give them what they need. Mm-hmm. And that's emotionally, physically, that spiritually, that mentally, whatever it is. That's what makes you ready. That's what makes me ready. Boy, you better go ahead with some. Ooh, ooh. Can I play that now? Like, ooh. Jeez. Um, no, good job, babe. I, I, I agree. Um, how long should they be at their worst, though? Like, to. Well, sometimes they're at their worst because the person they're with is is enabling or causing that, too. So you have to know this is a healthy mm-hmm. marriage. This is a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. And I think when you are in a healthy relationship. Say that one more time. Healthy. That's right. Because you got to catch that because a lot of times mm-hmm. people overlook the healthiness mm. you because it feels good I'm in the beginning. I'm loving the way you're saying healthy right now. Say it again. It's so no. soothing. The way <laughs> just, because, just because somebody looks good, mm. just because they smell good, just because they you know they their physique is what it is, does not make them a good husband or a good wife. That's a fact. And that's that's just what it is. But we get so caught up. And and on that particular like what meets the eye, you have to go beyond the surface. Mm. You have to see what what is that person heart like? Mm-hmm. What what is like what do they their desires are? So many times you just wanna skim. Like that's all I need right there. Shoot, <laughs> that's it. That if she if she got that, mm-hmm. shoot, we good. We can figure out the rest. Never trust a big button to smile. That girl is poison. And I'm gonna tell you what some things that you can't trust with a man too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you all. What can't you trust? Tell me. Listen, I know that my lady's watching. All I'm going to say is. Yes, you want him just because he's six two. Don't mean he for you. And right? don't mean he five three. Means he's for me. <laughs> 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 no, but we're we're seriously just literally like when you're thinking about being married and you're thinking about if you're ready, if you're thinking about if he's ready, you got to take the time to really ask yourself those questions, like. How is my patience? How is my confidence? And why are those things important? Because sometimes the issue that you have with a man and have with a woman isn't with that man or that woman. It's within your it's within you. Mm. You have that problem. Yeah. And it's not fair for me to have to fix an internal problem that you don't want to own. So the, the reality is now in going into a marriage, you're going to have some things mm-hmm. that you still have to work on, mm-hmm. but own it. The fact that you For the rest can, of your life, there's always going to be work on. But we have mm-hmm. to own those things mm-hmm. and, and say and know that, baby, this isn't your responsibility. This, like, this isn't you. Like, this, this was me before I came to you. Mm-hmm. So 
I can't make it your problem. Mm -hmm. But what I can do, because you're saying I do, Mm -hmm. because we're in this together, Mm -hmm. what you are saying is I'm in it with you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you. I'm going to like whatever I can do. Like if it's the resources that you need, if it's the. I'm going to throw that touchdown for you. Period. I got you, coach. (laughs) I got you, coach. That's all. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. I got you. That's 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 the real. That's the real. And and if somebody is asking for the real, Mm -hmm. that's it right there. Literally, know what you bring to the table: the good, the bad, the ugly. Own it. Do the work. Mm -hmm. You have a teammate that's going to do the work with you, and. While you're doing the work, you all have to be patient and be of support to one another in that process. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. Mm, my baby over here, boy, I'm getting a little turned on. Man, girl. Close, close, <laughs> closing question. It's like full play. Closing question. <laughs> what's the most uh what's most important? Compatibility or chemistry? Compatibility or chemistry. Hmm. I will have to say compatibility because that's what I said in the very first answer is mm-hmm. <laughs> compatibility. Um, I think compatibility is the most important thing. If you're talking about a long-term relationship, For sure. um, chemistry, um, is very important. Um, and just because you're compatible doesn't mean that there can also be chemistry, Absolutely. but if you're solely relying on your chemistry, chemistry will fade. Um, and the personality will come through, um, and if you're not compatible, it doesn't matter how much chemistry, how long you guys can talk about the stars and the moon, because you guys are both astrologists. Um, if you're not compatible, sure. just in general, um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna. You got to be compatible. You got to be compatible. But, but chemistry is an amazing feeling, and it's amazing when you have chemistry with somebody. And I think chemistry is very important. Um, it's a requirement actually to even get to the compatibility to even discuss whether compatibility is even going to be important because. Sure. If there's no chemistry, then there's really nothing to even talk about, yeah. <laughs> you know. So um, to get there, I think you it requires um, chemistry. But for, to go long, to go the distance, um, I think you need sure. compatibility. Agreed. I definitely compatible. I think compatibility is more important. I think that chemistry is something that you look for immediate. Like when you first meet them, you're looking for the. The chemistry is like, oh, my God, it was like we held hands. The stars lit up for us and, you know, it was daytime. <laughs> like, we could just talk for hours. Yeah. And there's never a, a dull moment. Those are the oh things God. that you're like, you're so eager to share, like, you know, with your friends or family or whatever. But the compatibility part is, I think, what keeps the chemistry growing is what keeps the, the sparks. It keeps it. Um, and it's only within those moments of compatibility, like your common interests. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you like doing some of the same things? Do you like some of the same music? Mm -hmm. Do you like watching some of the same things? Do you like, you know, growing in the same areas? Do you Mm -hmm. like investing? So compatibility has such a, there's so many things that you can Mm -hmm. be compatible on Mm -hmm. that it's not something that it's like, okay, well, we're not compatible in this area. So, That's not going to work, yeah. but you know, and you finding... can also you can learn to be like just be. You can find, like you, you're probably about to say you can find things that, gee whiz, that you're can be compatible yeah. on. Um, like maybe you didn't even know that this was something that you guys could have you together. Have an um, and then you guys discover it together or something. So during the as you grow, as you continue to learn one another, because that's another thing about love. Love is learning, and you always have to be open to learn the person that you are with because the person you met five years ago is going to be somebody probably a lot different five years later. Mm -hmm. Their interests will be different. So you have to be able to. You're going to be a totally different person five years later. Yeah. And you should be. That's what I'm saying. So you should be able to 
I'm talking continue. about like you as a, like me. I'm going to be yeah. different. And we're both going right. to be different. Yeah. Right. Because, I mean, that's what growth looks like right. as well. But sometimes I think people say, well, that you wasn't like that five years ago. You didn't like, you know, now you're changing on me. But that's when you, again, that room mm-hmm. for growth. And as you continue to grow, then I have to continue to learn. Mm-hmm. His interests change or becomes a little more you know, you may have more interest in this mm-hmm. than you just said you liked to play basketball when we first met. Yeah. But now you, you did like to ride bike as well, cycling, <laughs> right, right, but right. now you cycle more uh-huh. because you find like it has a better, you know, for your endurance or whatever, right. uh-huh. for whatever reason. But I can't be like, well, I love going to watch you play ball. And you know, because we both like to pay ball <laughs> and right. because you don't do that anymore. Right. We're not as compatible or whatever. Right. Learn them and, and find ways to incorporate yeah. what your interests are, what theirs are. So it's not just a, like we're, we're not compatible. Mm-hmm. It's finding that common interest, but also finding how you can blend your and compatible is not always doing something together. Compatible is also just being able to sit there in silence yeah. with someone and, and that's being fine. okay. Yeah, and it's there, like there's good. no, oh, I wonder, am I, should I be saying something? Uh, you know, yeah. am I doing something? Is she mad? Why is she not talking? Compatible is to be able to sit there in that silence, whether you're in the car, whether you're in the bed, whether you're at the dinner table. To well, be like, sometimes <laughs> you do that to me, though. You'd be I like, I know, and that's how I know we're compatible because. <laughs> <You'd> be like, because. <laughs> You want to turn the TV on? And I'm like, I'm good. Like, I am chilling. Well, I mean, to be honest, that you do shock me on a lot of things. Because, like, I don't know if it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. But I always expect for there to be something wrong. Like, because, I don't know, just, it's, it's been ingrained in me to always feel like there's something wrong. Right, <laughs> like, are right, you okay? Right, are you upset right. about something? Did I do something wrong today? Yeah. You know, but it never seems to be the case with you. And, you know, I mean... That's, I've always I think that's kind of funny because it'll be something you're like you don't want to watch you don't want to turn nothing on and I'm like <laughs> I'm good no <laughs> but that though that that's yeah. weird like you just want to sit there and just watch me do whatever I'm doing I'm like girl right, turn, the time, turn the TV on the problem the is you be feeling watched because you probably feel like no I feel watched because when I look this is what I see I'm sorry for the people who are not watching this but. Yeah, right. No, half a, a lot of times I'm like, I might be like this, and you're like, hey, turn no the TV on. And I'm she's like, looking at her phone. Oh, yeah, right. I'm looking at my phone. And I'm just kind of like, no. So I was telling him, too, like, I enjoy when we watch, you mm. know, shows and, you know, different things together. She don't like no shows that I like. Like, I put on. No, I, I did like. I put um, on Gladiator, and you watch maybe the first. Now, I know I people leaving. watching this. Gladiator is like one of the greatest movies ever made. Please comment if you agree. Um, she watched like maybe the first, not even leave. a third. And, and that was like almost a month or so ago. And, and we she, never picked it back she, up. Because she That's never has any interest in it. That's not true. I don't, like no matter what it's movie I like, want to show, she wants to no. watch. She would rather watch like some low budget, you know, um, how I got Bollywood. Mar- like just, or just I some, like just, Bollywood. No, some, not Bollywood. Nollywood is no. Like this was Nigerian. like one of this was like this was like one. Uh, it was a black movie. Like it's called Nollywood. Oh, Netflix Nollywood? has a yeah. It was like someone made it with a handheld <laughs> camera or something. You said Nollywood. Yeah. I'm thinking like a, like an Indian movie. No, it, yeah, it's called Nollywood. So it's like yeah, it looked like somebody made it with a handheld camera. But like they have the, some of the, the best acting movies. is horrible. But you want me me to watch this? I'm like losing brain cells as I'm watching this movie. They have some really good. But ones. you don't want to watch Gladiator. No, I do want to watch it, but I Gladiator it seemed like it's like three hours long. It was like two hours and 45 minutes or something. And for you sure. would not know because it's so good it that good. it just it goes by. It was good by. what I saw, but then Amazing I left movie. and never so that's, picked that's, it back up. But we're still compatible, though. Right? That's the lesson from that is that we're still <laughs> compatible. Either, even though you want me to watch Nollywood. And you want me to watch. And you don't even want to watch Gladiator, like an Academy Award winning movie. Minutes. I think it was anyways. If it wasn't, it should be. Um, geez, I'm trying to I'm trying to put you into trying to turn you on to some art and you're trying to get me to watch like some homemade no, movie no don't do that i'm not going to let you do that to homemade movies and things well, that like was that. a bad homemade movie babe you didn't even give it a chance i can't we watched like five minutes <laughs> babe nollywood where are my nollywood no. movie I watchers I watch drop below movie. netflix have some amazing nollywood hey, i don't movies. know Period. If that's a representation that's of what it. a Nollywood movie is, then. I don't care what you got to say mm. right now, because that's just what it Lord. is. 
Why is it called Nollywood? Because I think a lot of them is like Nigerian. No, that wasn't a Nigerian movie. I like Nigerian movies, actually. But it was on, it was under the Nollywood. Oh, so that was a Nigerian movie? Oh, snap. Well, then I take all that back because now that makes sense as to why it looked like that. <laughs> now it makes sense. I thought that was like, no. I'm like, why is it on Netflix? Okay, so that's why they call it Nollywood because it's from Nigeria. Yes. I, I was thinking Bollywood. All right, so before all my Nigerian and all my African people just diss me all together, I apologize. I did not know that that was a Nollywood <laughs> movie. I didn't hear any African accent in the movie, but I like Nigerian movies. <laughs> Yes, that, oh. they have, and I'm like, and he well, didn't now, even give it a chance. I'm like trying to explain to who, like, I'm killing my brain. If you told me it was here. a Nigerian movie, I would have looked at it differently. Maybe. That's crazy. It's okay, well, that makes sense why it looked like that and sounded like that. But all right, all, all right. right. What were we even talking about? Compatibility. Yep. We about to wrap this thing up. All right. We about to go. No, we not. Ooh. You know what time it is. It's time for hypothetical questions with Jesse and Shaquetta. Give me y'all one of them thing. All righty. If your child was switched at birth and you found out two years later, would you want your baby back or keep the one that you got? I want my baby back. I want before. This is not like something you can just answer real quick. It's hard and I've seen shows on it. So like you lose your bit, you so what do you do with the baby that you've been loving and raising? What do you do with that? But you don't, you just you're not oh. my kid. I don't want you no more. Whose fault was it? Because I want both. Which of them. It, 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 fault? Ain't, oh, whose fault was it? Yeah, fault uh, is a that's a. Very oh, I thought you were about to say like whose fault? Ain't my fault. He got to go. No, absolutely not. Um, I don't know whose fault it was. What happened? I guess the hospital. I guess. But yeah, what happened? No, I definitely. It would definitely be like two years. That's a long time to mm-hmm. have with this child that you've known as your own mm. and i think that for a lot of people that would be hard to, yeah. to say um but i would definitely want to have your child have my child and if both parents you know parties agree mm. that we would still be able to like be in each yeah. other's lives to yeah. see like the progress how that child is doing etc yeah, cetera. yeah. And I think I was thinking the same thing. That would be the best case situation is to be able to like almost like co-parent mm-hmm. to where because yep. I mean the the kid might not even want to go back to his real parents. Yeah. He might want to stay. With, so to it'd know be that, hard. That'd yeah, be a transition for both for kids sure. yep. and for actually for everybody involved. I would imagine. But uh, but yeah. yeah. Would you rather gain all the knowledge in books by touching them or gain physical skills just by watching? Probably physical skills by watching. I would say that too, but I think I'm gonna go with all knowledge in books. Just but that's like almost like like the Matrix, um, which is a. So mo- what was it? It said all by. You touch a book and you just you all the knowledge is in your head, or you watch somebody like do gymnastics and now you know how to do gymnastics. Okay, read it again because it's, I think you said all or some. You just read it again? Would you rather gain all the knowledge in books by touching them or gain physical skills by watching? Yeah. So just like the all example the I knowledge. gave. All the knowledge? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, watching a physical skill and then being able to do it would yeah, be cool, but. Cool. But if I you mean, get all. Like you, like at least yeah. still, you still probably know how yeah, to do it. So, right. like, I could, mm-hmm. yeah, like, you know, download the, the Flying the Plane program. <laughs> you read yeah, the book, like, kind of like, the, like mm-hmm. the Matrix. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, that'd be dope. All right. We'll do one more and then we are going to get out of here lose but play well or win but play poorly i mean i'm a win and play <laughs> poorly because i mean playing poor mm-hmm. my my so like off so, game had to be still better than the uh, other team <laughs> so like so like you are so you messed up but your team was able to carry you um, and they won, but you had a horrible performance that game. Well, that, or so, your team loses, but you were the damn star. You scored like 60 points, but you still lost. I mean, so I think that that's your perception of that, what? of how you're answering the question. No, like you you lose, you win, but you play poorly. So you play very poorly. Yeah, but that those have been – I am I am a former athlete, mm-hmm. and there's definitely been times – We've played poor. I played poor. Like wasn't on it, whatever. But the other team, no, you played poor, not your okay. team. I mm-hmm. played poor. Mm-hmm. We still won. Mm-hmm. 
The other team was clearly not good as well. Mm-hmm. So my thing is like, this is how I'm perceiving it because I I'm an been an athlete or whatever. It's definitely happened. Mm-hmm. Just let me go ahead and play poor and win. Period. That's my answer. I think I want to play good. I don't know. I, I say that, but because it's almost like you still won. It's like if you scored sixty points or something like that, and but your team lost. Mm-hmm. Like I had an amazing game, fellas. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> at the end of the day, like if this is a championship game right. or anything like that. Yeah, in that Ooh. case, then yeah, I'd want to win and play poor for sure. I'm gonna do that anytime because I still got opportunity. Next game, I'm coming back. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I get you. I, I definitely, I'm, I'm talking crap because I, I do like to win. So, <laughs> but even though that would be embarrassing to, to play like crap, <laughs> and but the team wins anyways. But like, thank y'all, teamwork. I got y'all next <laughs> week. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's an episode. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Follow us on IG at Computer Love Podcast. It's been real.